so the game is on at the arena at TD Place in Ottawa. Again, these two teams just met 10 days ago, but it seems like it's been quite a journey for Toronto since then. Two games played in between both close matchups at Saturday. Game against Montreal going to a shootout. First in PWHL history, and they got the win. They find themselves in their own zone, back behind the net of Howe. Our side. They'll look for some space. Natalie Connors shoots it down. She, of course, got her first goal and her first PWHL assist in that game on Saturday. I can imagine that Toronto is here just wanting to ruin this home opener, not home opener, but home game for Ottawa. They haven't been able to find a win at home yet. Two overtime losses. They like to change that. Of course, this is the first of a back-to-back -back at home for Ottawa. Nashmeyer plays it quick off the sticks, tries to get it out of one of her own. It's loose Ali Monroe in blue and white, but it's the team in red now adding the pressure. Can't quite get into Toronto's zone. Brittany Howard, she's got some room. She'll shoot it. That one easily turned away into the far corner this time. Trying to find some space below the goal line as Toronto puts the pressure, but just as quick, it's up. And Michaela Grand Mendes takes a shot. That one just high and wide. Malte collects it on the other side. And one of the things we'll be looking for tonight is to see how Toronto plays defensively. They had a great couple of games, but some of their defensive breakdowns are pretty big, and Ottawa already developed a two-on-one coming through the neutral zone. And Hannah Miller strips that off the stick of Akani Shiga. But Ottawa defending in their own zone, just trying to clear it. It is loose, and now the chase is on. Look at that speed from Razova. But it'll be lower up to the puck first in front. That could have been a feed in the slot. Lots of nifty little pass. Daryl Watts just trying, trying to come near side and catch them off guard. And had that been tape to tape, I think she may have. And Arena Mazova feeds it back. And now from behind that, that was a big stretch pass up to Lexi Agia. The Rock plays it back for Toronto. Still a chance. That one tees off the end board that time. That board pass ends up going Toronto's way as Caitlin Willoughby takes control. She's got some space. She'll go all the way around, and that gets interrupted. Ashton Bell. Callie Flanagan tees it up back for Vasco. Now Monroe, caught on those, caught on the far wall by Lexi Agia, but Samantha Kogan, a homecoming for the Ottawa product. And she gets a chance. She tries to strip it off, nearly does in the slot at that. Tough control there, but a sustained effort now for Toronto, still in the offensive zone. They've come out so strong in the first period on a great shift by that fourth line for Toronto to get the puck and hem them in. Connor really give the Ottawa defense some fits. Wow. Connor just trying to keep that pass in the zone. Flanagan send it around the end boards. Bell for Ottawa. Now back on Connor's stick. Howard's pass doesn't quite do it. And now a chance coming in fast is Gilmore. Behind Haley Scamora, feeds it up to Harmon. That shot blocked by Renata Fast. The Rock tees it up for Howard. She gets a bite of Turnbull. Battle for it along the Ottawa blue line. And now a chance again for Ottawa as Gamora tees it up. Ottawa having scored in the first period and actually open scoring in all three of their games so far in the season. Now back in the defensive zone, the home team trying to find a pass up and they nearly get it to Grant Mentis. It'll be, it'll be an icing. Toronto had the draw in the offensive zone, but Ottawa 
clears it out, and now is a big chance for Emily Clark, still looking for her first goal. That one, she scores! Emily Clark does it at home. She gets her first PWHL goal to open scoring. That's what Erica Howe may want back, but this is a nice score. A good quick breakout. Ottawa out of their zone. Emily Clark takes a look. She starts to see how pull off the post, and she just fires this on net and banks it in off of her. That's a smart play. Emily Clark gets her first goal. Pride of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. She got her first assist on Harmon's opening goal against Minnesota last Wednesday. For two points on the season so far. Now Callie Flanagan putting on some speed. Drop pass to Spooner. Natalie Spooner getting that third goal for Toronto in the third period against Montreal on Saturday. The only player as well to have scored on the power play for Toronto so far. And now Ottawa with another chance as Mazrova tries to carry it in herself. That's interrupted and Olivia Knowles will play keep away from Daryl Watts. As the crowd reacting to Emily Clark's goal. Plenty of signs in this building all about Clarky. Well, no doubt she's one of their, again, free agent signings. She's one of the players that they're going to rely on that they want some offense from. And some of them have been off to a slower start, but you know Emily Clark's getting on the board. And that was a nice start for her this game. And again, this is a, this is a team that has gotten on the board first. Blair Turnbull. Tease it up. She's got Malte. She shoots, and that one chips up and out to the near side this time. Still in the Ottawa zone, kept in by Monroe. Back behind the net, Blair Turnbull. We've got a penalty on the way in Ottawa's first power play. Blair Turnbull is going to go to the penalty box for two minutes or less for this trip, and looks like she goes for the poke check and loses her stick. Fortunately, that's an easy one to call. And you can see that stick just comes loose from her hand. Well, that's a huge confidence booster. But again, Montreal's power play hasn't been operating at the percentage that you would think, given the players that they have. Well, Jenner looks for the pass up to Boyd. Along with four wall, Haley Scamora. She can't stay on her feet that time. Vasco tries to clear it out, and now. Comfer will do it instead. Haley Scamora opening up franchise scoring for Ottawa on the power play at that. So Ottawa will get back to it. Get those passes. Got Hughes up front and she can't quite get it on her stick. And what a reach for Gabby Hughes who had a great game against Toronto 10 days ago. And the Rock takes a hit from Grant Mentis as Willoughby picks it up from the far wall. Has to get by Ashton Bell. No, Clark on the on the ice in red, and Clark gets it. Feeds it up to Harmon. Great puck recovery. And Grant Mentis in front. They shoot that one wide. Some second chance efforts there for Ottawa. Sustained pressure here, but. We're back to even strength. A good kill for Toronto. Still in their zone, though. And one big scoring shot there on the power play for Ottawa. Yeah, definitely a good kill for Toronto. You could see them being aggressive when they needed to be. And now Blair Turnbull. She tries to wrap it around, getting in close with Emma Rince Mashmeyer. And another chance, Spooner through traffic. That catches some bodies in front. Near side. Battle along the wall. Turnbull seemingly wins it with the pass up to Spooner at a sharp angle. Monroe can't get in the mix for Toronto. We're going up against the far wall this time. Puck loose. There to meet Nurse below the goal line. Spooner has it nearly. Now Connors. She draws it back, but Savannah Harmon for Ottawa will do it herself. Carry it past the blue lines, dump it down. Funny Gusperich in the mix now for Ottawa down low. 
Nurse to Flanagan this time. She goes up for Spooner. Neta Terralova nearly couldn't control the puck. A little bit of a speed wobble. I think she stepped on the puck. So Ottawa again looking to get out of their own end on their terms. Jincy Rose, she had an assist on that opening goal by Emily Clark. She'll feed it over. Pressure from Toronto with a turnover now. Rebecca Leslie takes a shot. That one stopped by Mashmeyer. Rebecca Leslie, a homecoming as well for number 19. Now Hannah Miller has it far side. Just got to get around Tara Lova. Can't back to Comfer. And Ottawa looking to clear it out of their zone. They do. The Rock just as quickly sends it back. Connie Shiga plays it over to Bell and Tara Lova again down deep in the Ottawa zone. The home team leads right now 1-0. Ottawa trying to get a change in there, but they had a little bit of pressure. They couldn't set up. And Razova looked to get that off. Or rather, it was Gilmore. And now a chance. How shoot? She shoots! She scores! Howard does it! It's the shot Toronto's been waiting for. And it ties the game. She pulls this puck in and releases it. And this line was bound to get on the scoreboard, this Turnbull multi. Howard line, you can see her just pull that puck in, gets herself to the middle of the ice on her forehand to open up that steam and find room in the blocker, and that is a beautiful play. By the way, last game Toronto played in Montreal in the first period, they had 14 shots on the goal. They're about halfway there right now in this game, and that was the most registered by a team in the opening frame. Now Ottawa, Harmon looking for some room. Spooner goes to meet her, now down low, back behind the net. Becca Gilmore battling in red. Gets it free to Skamora. Up to the line, teed up through traffic. They'll try another angle that time. Harmon looking to feed it to Gilmore. Sarah Nurse redirects over to Fast this time. And now another chance for Ottawa. As that pass gets turned over, Bouillet feeds it, there it is in the front. away with the possession. Caitlin Willoughby fighting for it, but Gabby Hughes, who registered an assist on that opening goal by Emily Clark. And Michaela Grant Mentis fighting for it down low with some physical play. It's all good. Terlova gets in the mix. Grant Mentis as well, and Toronto comes away with it. Lise Flanagan has to circle back, finds Vasco. Big chances for Ottawa to extend that lead. Natalie Snodgrass tees up Terralova. Hannah Miller intercepts the pass. Now here comes Rebecca Leslie. She gets by. Now take the puck with her. Near side fast. Sends it over to Miller. She'll take it away now. Miller coming in. Looks for the feed and Emery Smashmeyer with a big save. But, or Ottawa with another great opportunity, and it really starts from this forecheck. Michaela Grant Mentis gets in, throws the body, and is able to create some problems down low for Toronto. And then they get that chance. This again is the third line for Toronto getting this opportunity, and it's just the net drive that really creates things, and that's how this team's going to score. Toronto has possession in the zone here, and Rebecca Leslie can't stop it behind the net. She's got calm for next net front battle in the far corner right now. 
They tee up the shot and it's saved again by Mashmeyer. Up in the air into the far wall that time. Boyd. Took the pass. Hannah Miller tries to get her stick on it, but here comes Rebecca Leslie again. This time she'll rim it around. Looking for support. As Ottawa's Katarina Mrazova now. She's going to stick handle her way with the pass to watch. She dials up. She drives the net, and it's behind this time. Daryl Watts got her first PWHL goal against Toronto 10 days ago. Poulin LaBelle plays it up to Turnbull. But it's Ottawa's captain who comes away with a Jenner with a goal on the night so far. Amanda Boulier. Sends it back to Savannah Harmon. Brittany Howard tries to meet her. Gilmore. He's up Harmon again. Ottawa looking for these quick passes. Now Haley Scamora with speed. Far side. She gets turned around. Flanagan. Looks to feed it up for Malte. Back to Flanagan now. Toronto. Oh, and that big play by Brianne Jenner stop any opportunity and that was developing into a two-on-one that's a nice back check off the glass that time and into the toronto zone the rock like don't find that play you're in a situation where you need to get that line change off the glass and out ottawa gets a wholesale change and gets fresh bodies on the ice the rock looking for the pass up that one catches connor's skate They'll play on Jincy Rose, back to Clark. And now Spooner, she was looking for Nurse. And Ottawa again, Aneta Terlova along the near wall. Has to feed it up, a bit of a collision there, but Maggie Connors takes it from the center, shoots towards the net. Rose. Again, trying to find some open lanes. And Gabby Hughes tries to work past Rougeau. That's a no-go. That's a nice step up by Rougeau just to end that play. Step up, separate her player from the puck. And now Fanny Gosperich comes in along the far side. She tries to drive the net fast in the way. Lexia Gia for Ottawa. Got help from Boyd. Samantha Kogan. Up to Willoughby now. Caitlin Willoughby. She's going to drive it herself. Looking back. Kogan. Behind the goal line. Far side. Just got to work around. And Caitlin Willoughby again. Looks to set up Kogan. Pressure along the boards in the Ottawa zone. Toronto, Leslie, she's had a few chances. Tries to just chip it down low. Comfer, can't meet it first, Zoe Boyd. Minetta Terlova, slowing it down for Ottawa. Ottawa right now, shots on goal favoring Toronto, nine. To six. Both teams have scored, and now Ottawa wants to extend their lead. Daryl Watts coming in fast. She got Chiga in front of the net. Mraz over right there as well. She's going to circle back, get past LaRock. Big shot. That one stopped by fast. Now LaRock with some space to Leslie. It's offside. Battling in the Ottawa zone. They're able to clear it out. Skamora chasing it down. Both number 14s are really fast, but we're not a fast on it. Right away, Emma Malte looking to dig it out for Toronto. That's a good race between those two players. Like you said, both with a lot of speed. You watch Renata fast. She doesn't lose a lot of battles. She's gritty. Becca Gilmore try to find a path, but goes back this time. Kogan, or Malte rather, trying to tee up Turnbull. Turnbull, powerful on the far side now. Brittany Howard, she's already got a goal. Ottawa will just shrug her off and take it away themselves as 
Brianne Jenner comes down the slot. Jenner still there. Like those physical battles between those players. Brittany Howard to Turnbull, and that one sent back thanks to some blocked shots in the middle. Close call as Toronto. We're in the final minute of the first period, a busy one for both sides, but particularly Ottawa able to get those first two goals. And Ottawa pretty opportunistic too when you look at the shot total. Well, here they come. Grant Mentis, she gets stopped. Had space down the slot there, and now Toronto again working to clear it. They've got about 20 seconds. Spooner dumps it down. Jinsey Rose disrupts that. Final seconds are in the Ottawa zone. Home team maintains control. Toronto trailing 2-1 with Ottawa after the first, but Captain Blair Turnbull joining me now from the bench. Blair, you've got your first PWHL point, but your team is trailing, as mentioned. Ottawa just able to open up scoring in all of their games. What are you looking to tighten up into the second? Well, I think we've been playing pretty passive compared to how we normally play, so I think defensively we just have to be a bit more aggressive and uh, try to create some more offense from there, but uh, I don't think we're too pleased with our first period and our effort there. Well, and since your first game against Ottawa just 10 days ago, it has seemed like your team, there, there's a spark ignited. You've had two really good games coming into this one. What can you say about that and just the growth over this past week alone? Yeah, I think we kind of turned the page on our rough start and just really started to focus on taking uh, each period at a time and just playing really connected hockey. I think we've done a good job of that in our last two games and we're looking to build on that here tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. They get possession right off the draw. But just as quickly, Becca Gilmore nearly turns it over successfully as LaRock feeds it back to Connors. And they've got to use the board to get out of this one. Ashton Bell protecting that line. Skamora chips it down again. Ottawa coming in with some physical. Hughes tries to get the shot off. It's caught on Spooner that time. Now Boulier, she's got that assist. She got it on the Jenner goal. Tonight, her second of the season, Gabby Hughes. Just battling back behind the net. Boulier rushes to the puck. Around the corner in front that time. Ottawa again, Savannah Harmon tees it up. Got support from Grand Mentis and Hughes down low. Hughes. Back behind the net of Erica Howe, her first PWHL start. Emily Clark trying to get things going. Teresa Masrova will take that offensive zone draw for Ottawa, but they do. They're able to maintain some control, at least from the blue line. Daryl Watts waiting for it down low. Loose in front of Howe, and they try to chip it in. My goodness, that was so close. Razova was in the right place. How able to make those quick reads. Monroe sends it down. Now, this is Erica Howe's first start in net for Toronto, but she has had two periods of PWHL play prior to this, and those were both against Ottawa. Well, Ottawa doing a really good job to seal off the boards and keep pucks in. Their team have been very active on the blue line. And they're able to almost capitalize on this. That's a bad bounce from behind the net. That's a nice little pass as well. And Skamara nearly fires one down high slot. He'll try again. Turned away by Howe. Monroe has to get it out. Digging along the near wall, Skamora tees it up. Big shot by Jenner. He's looking for her second. Now that she's had a taste, first BWHL goal. In fact, the entire first period were first goals. And I like that Jenner shot. That's not a full slap shot. Just a half shot to get it off. Malte rushes to the puck. Tries to get it to Howard, who's already scored for Toronto. 
Skamora. Down. Pressure back in the Toronto zone. Laurent feeds it to fast, far side. She'll take it center. Looking for the pass option. She'll go to the wall. Comfer tries to get in on it. Boulier. Laurent. Off the near wall this time in the neutral zone. Jesse Comfer comes away with it. Quick passes there up to Rebecca Leslie as well. Miller tries to get out in front and the chase is on the other way. Renata Fast trying to slow the pace, get past. Gosperich, Gosperich has it though, getting in close. That feed could have connected. Gabby Hughes was on the doorstep. Hannah Miller with a really nice back check to take away that opportunity. Now into the near corner this time. And a chance there. Grand Mentis denied. Hughes, Mentis. Trying to get to it. Now Jincy Rose feeds it over. Again, Rose will take it this time. She shoots. Not for the net, but just for the pass. Trying to create some space. Rose again. She'll take it. Down below the circle this time. Clark shoots up high. How with a big pop off on that one. Just hear those sticks hitting the ice. Batting it, Aneta Terlova nearly keeps it in. Toronto on their heels right now, and there's a tired group on the ice. They're trying to get off. And now another chance in front. Vasco was in the circle, but this time she'll meet the puck along the far wall. And Toronto sends it back behind the end of Emerence Mashmeyer. She's made eight saves so far. And in front, Kogan fighting for it. Will it be right there? It'll be stopped by Mashmeyer. Well, once again, this is Toronto's fourth line, and they've been having a game. Toronto not able to generate a lot, but what they have had has come off the backs of this fourth line. You can see them once again, they're getting in, they're throwing heavy pressure, they're creating these turnovers, and then they get that opportunity at the net. Samantha Kogan, of course, we talked about her. This is her homecoming. She's from Ottawa. And she wants one. Mashmeyer is strong to hold on to that puck. It'll be Nurse taking that draw, but it's a possession win for Ottawa as they're able to clear it out quickly. Gamora looking for Gilmore. Toronto taking it back. Boulier teeing it up just a little. Two down deep, but back in the Toronto zone, what Ottawa wanted. Trying to find a feed, and that one ends up on the stick of Savannah Harmon. Back to Scamora. It goes. Boulier with some speed, far side through her own feet that time. Ottawa with some movement, they'll take it around. Goal line, Brianne Jenner tries to pick it off. Spooner to Connors. Looking for the pass, takes a shot. That one deflected off of Boulier's skate. Boulier was about to go for a line change too. She looked over her shoulder, recognized it was a two on one. Made the smart decision to stay on the ice. Captain Jenner over to Harmon that time. Big centering feed, gets disrupted by LaRock still. Savannah Harmon. No, Emily Clark rather for Ottawa. She's trying to get another on the night. Open scoring here and that one skims by. Gabby Hughes. And now Toronto, Captain Turnbull. Loves to turn the tide and the energy. Trying to bring the puck back in. And Emma Malte takes it away. Pass to Comfer. Circling around. Fast over to Howard. Howard coming in close. Shoots. And Comfer, no. Mashmeyer will cover it up. And things getting a little too close for Comfort for Ottawa. And now trying to collect themselves back is Toronto. Hannah Miller getting caught up on Ashton Bell. 
Great pressure from the Delarine Manitoba product. Now deep, down deep, Bailey Skimora rushing to meet the puck in the Toronto zone. The Comfer with the feet. No, Comfer takes it off the wall that time. Back behind Mashmeyer's net. Ashton Bell looking for the pass. Lexia Gia right there for Ottawa. But so is Renata Fast. Plays keep away that time. Up to LaRock. LaRock coming in close. She'll take it towards the net. She did get her first PWHL goal in that win over Montreal. Open scoring for Toronto Fast. With the pass. Now Willoughby with some speed. She's going to drive the net in front. And Vasco hoping for the tip in that time. Akani Shiga. She gets played behind the net that time. And here comes Ottawa. Razova gets bowled over. Comes up on Renata Fast. That was a momentum changer. Laroc near side. Looks for the feed. Mashmeyer covers it up. It'll bring the drop back into the Ottawa zone. Well, in Toronto again with another really good shift off their fourth line, and it's just the physical play that you see. It's them getting in on the forecheck, and you're getting it from the back end as well. And Renata Fast throws one of the biggest hits of the period. Comes across, well-timed, and steps in front of her player to make sure she's not going anywhere else with that puck. Nurse. Leads it to Connors. They've been shooting quickly now. Connors driving the action. She's got Scooter net front. Nurse is there on the circle. Near side. Who's puck in front? Connors goes to meet it. Monroe in the board battle for Toronto. Nurse to Connors. Connors in front. Nurse was right there driving the net front action. That pass gets taken away by Ottawa. Shiga circles back. I'd say the timeout for Toronto has really helped because they have changed their game significantly since Troy Ryan brought them in and talked to them. Well, they've got some shots on goal now. And they're leading the tally at this time. Good opportunities as Spooner goes to meet the puck. Just got to get past Terlova and she does not. Ottawa looking to regain some control here back in their zone Rose to Terlova they'll use the boards to send it back behind the net of Erica Howe yeah, Gabby Hughes is in the box for Ottawa and it comes down to this moment right here a little trip on Renata Fast as she clips her legs when she comes in behind Fast goes to place that puck over to her partner and again, Spooner finds it up to Connors this time. Sends it around a fast. Connors fires in front. LaRock tries to get down again. That's how she scored her first goal. Not on the power play, but on one knee. Now fast. Takes it around, looks for Connors again. Nurse. Sends it back to Spooner. Ottawa now, a chance to, to clear it. They've got that 2-1 lead. Toronto looking to tie it, be the first to score here in the second period. But not a fast. Again, she'll send it back around. Nurse tries to feed to Spooner. Connors spun around. Now Flanagan. She sends it back. Nurse. Connors. Got room, she's gonna go around. Will she wrap around? Try to get on Mashmeyer. No, Malte tees it up, Spooner in front. They'll go again. 40 seconds to go in this Toronto power play. Their first of the game, Miller. She sends it back to Flanagan. Touch over to Howard. Flanagan from the point. And in front, down low now, Turnbull. Back to Miller. She's got Turnbull and Malte getting in close. Flanagan, Howard, will she tee up the shot? It's down low, now in front. Malte driving the action. Final seconds here for this Toronto power play. 
And Turnbull, she's looking for something. Two big scoring chances on that Toronto power play. And there's Gabby Hughes having an impact immediately from the penalty box. Miller tries to feed it. Harmon takes the pass. And so we're back in the Toronto zone this time. I like that second unit of Toronto's power play. But here comes Captain Jenner. She's got options. She shoots on Hammond against Gamora. Big stops by Howe. And another to add to it. Erica Howe. Making the saves right now for Toronto. And now Ashton Bell will take it. She's going to go. Looking for the, no, can't quite get the pass off. A little turnover, Leslie. Feed it over to Comfer. They're going to fly up to a rock. Gets by Skamora in front of the net. That's a nice shot from her backhand. Off the far pad just to create that rebound. Now Rougeau will take it away. She got the shot on the shootout. And Jenner regains control for Ottawa. They'll dump it down, go for the change. And that one through the legs that time of Leslie. And now another chance for Jenner up high. Grant Mentis as well flying in for Ottawa. But Erica Howe settles it down for Toronto. Well, that was a great flurry of activity for Ottawa, but even better saves by Erica Howe, and this is exactly what she needs. This is a two-on-one, makes the first save, makes the second save. Ottawa gets a third shot off of this same flurry of activity, and Erica Howe is able to be strong, come up with all of those saves, and that's huge for her and this team, just to give them that sense of security back there with their goaltender. Connors tees up Spooner. Spooner driving the action, shoots, and it's just wide. Flanagan, far side wall, meets it at the hash marks just as quickly. Taken away by Fani Gosparic. No, that's Emily Clark with the feed in front. And Erica Howe stops that effort by Grant Mendes still. Play goes on. Razova. Back around Emily Clark. Just got to shake off the defenders. Jensi Rose up high. And Anna Terlova this time. Akani Shiga is hoping to redirect that one. But Maggie Connors will just send it down for Toronto as they go for a change. Toronto's going to watch those cross-ice passes through their own zone. Ottawa as well. They don't tend to work in their high-risk, low-reward. Right now, Vasco and Kogan working together on this effort. Fast as well. Sends it back behind Mashmeyer. And Caitlin Willoughby. Through the legs of Terlova that time. The Rock brings it up. She's driving the action right in front. Kogan's there. The Connie Shiga and Ottawa able to work their way back out of their zone just as quickly. Sent back. Rose, the physical play on Kogan. Vasco trying to help out her teammate. And so on. Big pressure. Two Toronto players in this board battle. Vasco. Pulling the bell along the near wall, along with Howard in blue and white. But here's a big chance. Akani Shiga, she's got room. She tests how. That one turned away in the far side wall. Connie Shiga laying some physical play down. Well, she takes an awful lot of hits in the game. It's always kind of fun when you see her give one back. Again, Ottawa now. Gasparic meeting the puck in the far corner, in the near corner, rather. As Snodgrass had a battle through crowd, and she scored her first against Toronto 10 days ago. And there's going to be another penalty here. Fani Gachbarix goes to the penalty box for a boarding call. And again, the physicality just taking one step too far. 
battling for it. Hannah Miller as well. Malte is trying to find some room. Board battle once again. Savannah Harmon with the pressure for Ottawa. Malte, Turnbull. Trying to find that space. Miller helping out. Sends it around. She's got Howard far side of it. Managed to block that shot from Skamora, so they keep it in play. And Miller keeps it on side. Back to the point. Flanagan tees it up for Howard in front. Malte was there, so is Captain Turnbull. Howard to Flanagan. Turnbull is net front. Miller looking for some options. Back to Malte. Flanagan again. Fine center. Shot through traffic behind the net. Malte. Miller. We'll use the end boards to send it back. A generous clearing shot. Stopped that time by Flanagan. Ottawa on the penalty kill. Harmon will chip it down. Toronto does a good job on with that unit to recover pucks. They just aren't able to get anything through to the net. So they'll set up again. We're not a fast leading this one. He's got LaRock on the near side this time. Open lane, looking for some space. Spooner in front. Spooner again, digging, digging in front. And the action for Nod as Ottawa nearly clears it out. Now fast again. Final 10 seconds here in this Toronto power play. Nurse looking for the shot. LaRock will not take it. Connors receives the pass. And again, Nurse. Tries to shoot it. One scoring chance on that, but here comes Ottawa. And they'll tee something up. Ashton Bell was looking for the pass from Gasparic. Free from the penalty box. That's how you make an impact. Gasparic again. Ashton Bell jumps into that on the two-on-one and just can't quite handle that pass. What a penalty kill by Ottawa on that one. Spooner. He's got to shake off. Ottawa and Flanagan teeing it up. Kogan getting in the mix. She's got Comfer with her and Monroe. Comfer back behind the net this time, driving the action. Leslie tries to meet the puck. That centering feed goes down deep into the Toronto zone. A back and forth second period. Neither team has scored in this frame so far. And time is running out. Leslie tries to find Malte, but Jenner instead. And that does it through 40 minutes. Ottawa leading 2-1 after two periods. It's how they entered the middle frame, but we are pleased to be joined by Emily Clark. Emily, congratulations, your first PWHL goal to open scoring. Just take us through that moment. Yeah, thank you. I mean, just lucky the, a, a puck got past their D in the neutral zone and skated in and honestly just tried to get it on net. And um, luckily it took a, a good bounce on a dead angle, but obviously it feels good to get that one. But I'm um, just really happy with how our team's producing overall and we're getting scoring all throughout the lineup. Well, your team has been impressive, especially in the first period when it comes to opening up scoring as you did tonight, but maintaining that lead, how, do you, how does your team, how do you plan to do that? Yeah, I think our second period um, is definitely an area of improvement. I think managing the long change and um, trying to maintain offense and change in the ozone, but I think we did a really good job that period. Obviously, score, uh, we came out of that period with the same score we went into it. and. Um, We've been pretty good in the third, so hopefully we continue that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Captains meeting in the middle to start this third period. Turnbull and Jenner, both with points in this game. Battling for it fast. Takes it away for Toronto this time. What a change as well. Toronto called a very timely timeout in that second period. And well, that's just a good decision to recognize where your team's at. You're not getting the effort you want from them to call the timeout, change things up a little, and we really did see a change in this team. Becky Gilmore in red, getting pressured by Spooner and Monroe. 
Check that, make it Connors instead. They'll send it around Jenner. Trying to drive around, she's got her first PWHL goal, and Turnbull, she takes it away herself, shoots, and Mashmeyer. What an individual effort by Captain Turnbull. Well, and this is Blair Turnbull's strength. It's speed, and it's coming down the wall for us. And what a battle behind the net. The two captains going at it. Blair Turnbull wins that battle, and then she's going close to coach. She turns on the Jets and gets this little cut into the middle and is able to get that shot off. We get Ottawa able to do the work to get it out. Clark to Hughes this time. Gets around to Savannah Harmon. He bats it down. Clark again. Feed it through. Keep it down low. Turnbull now. Trying to find Brittany Howard. They connected on that first goal. Malte shoots and Nashmeyer with a stop. Action continues here. Now Daryl Watts finds herself alone with LaRock and the puck is loose. Behind the Toronto net this time. Ottawa. Sending around the end boards. And Comfer now. Trying to comfortably take it out. Can't. And Daryl Watts skating around, dumping it down low. Still pressure by Ottawa. Puck will go back into the Toronto zone and called for an icing. Toronto with another couple good chances and both come off the stick of Emma Malte. This one right off the face off and she steps through. Oh, almost connects with Blair Turnbull. And then this little toe drag to get herself to the middle. And Emma Malte's got such speed that as a defenseman, you don't know if she's going to beat you wide. You got to give her a little bit of space and then she's able to pull that puck and get the shot off from the middle. Toronto. Again from the slot, Kogan's right there. Terlova, the defense of Connie Shiga in red along the board. Be some quick feed centering to Terlova that time. We'll try again now, Samantha Kogan's just gotta, gotta be quick on it and Willoughby rushes to meet it down low for Toronto. Once again, Ottawa capitalizing. Kogan picks it off this time. Fanny Gushbarch adding that pressure. And Kogan, she's on a mission tonight. What a great play she made through the neutral zone. And now Rebecca Leslie, she shoots towards the net. Again, Toronto in a position here. As they look to get around Hannah Miller, trying to free the puck. It's behind the net of Mashmeyer. Comfer's out there in white. She's looking to get it to Miller now. Miller loses it. And Zoe Boyd with defense for Ottawa. Played back to Miller once again. Toronto just looking for a pass here. And his friend Comfer's calling for it. That goes wide. What an effort by Toronto. A bigger one at that by Ottawa. Some really good work along the boards to win those battles. And Toronto really winning the physical game right now. And Skamora doing the work behind the net of Howe. And there's a shot through traffic. That one blocked. But again, Ottawa now turning the tide. Skamora. And there's a big shot by Harmon. It goes up. Harmon takes it away again. Pick it up where it landed is Turnbull. And now Turnbull. She'll take the near side this time. She's going to drive the net front. No one there for the pass. Now Haley Scamora. We're not a fast looking again in the way, and LaRock bats it out. Malte tries to do the same, and Toronto hoping to redirect the energies, but back in the Toronto zone it goes. Turnbull over to Malte, and that one denied Grant Mentis on it. And again, Grant Mentis, her pass intercepted by Turnbull. 
She'll just shoot it long. Go for the change. Grant Mantis, that pass just misfired, and you can tell she was a little frustrated. Banged her stick. Toronto looking for the equalizer. Natalie Spooner, she's going to drive it, bring it in close, shoots. And in front, they're just going to keep batting at it. Ottawa able to get it out of that area down low, and so that will be iced and will reset. Comfer, Grant Mentis was hoping to quell that one. Howard, and now from the point, LaRock. And there goes the whistle. So Toronto now gets their third power play opportunity of the game, unable to capitalize the first two. Well, they're going to get another chance here, but I love the hard work that they've shown down low. And again, as they start to establish what their identity oh, is, no, this is where they're going to be successful. It's winning those battles, and that's what draws that penalty. And they've started to win these battles all over the ice. That one happens to be in the slot, but a lot of them have been along the boards, and they are owning that physical game right now. Yeah, Neta Terralova in the penalty box on a hooking call. Nurse wins it back again. 0 for 2 on the power play leading into this one, but coming out with a lot of energy and intent here in the third period is Toronto. The Rock passes back to Fast. He's got Malte and Sarah Nurse down low. Natalie Spooner gets it out to Fast to La Rock. It back again. Maggie Connors now through traffic. It's free in front. They're shooting. Gonna get it in. Flanagan from the point to Howard near side. Down low to Multi. Back to Howard. Flanagan tries to find the lane. She shoots down. Turnbull waiting for it net front. They'll go again. Flanagan this time takes it to Miller. Shoots it. That skims by. Back around Toronto. They've got a bit of time. On their third power play of the game, they have not been able to score on special teams yet in this game. And they're going for it as Malte. Miller has it. Now Flanagan. She'll settle it back, look for room. Miller shoots, and what a block! That's a great job in front of the net. Ashton Bell to block that shot and give her team the chance to clear the puck. Flanagan trying to drive the net there. And that does it on Toronto's third power play. But here's Copper. She shoots. And Mashmeyer with a big stop. Toronto again. Crowd chanting here at TD Place Arena. Hogan to Leslie, Leslie. Not too much support as fresh legs get on the ice. You got Nurse, Flanagan, and Connors. And it would be Nurse that settles it back. She's up the pass to Connors. She'll take it far side this time. She's looking to get away. Gabby Hughes on it, though. And Ottawa looking for a big stretch pass. Flanagan over to Connors again. Spooner was teed up in front of Matchmeyer. Connors has just got to play keep away. Spooner. She knows a thing or two about tying goals. She did it in Montreal on Saturday, a game that Toronto went on to win in a shootout. And now, again, looking for all kinds of spaces. Nurse, and she gets a shove from Hughes. Chases on fast, and... It'll be a nice thing to reset everything here. Captain Turnbull wins that one. Now Malte sends it to Fast. She chips it up. Terlova. Malte able to get her stick on it for Toronto. Ottawa just gets it out enough to make a partial line change. They're not a fast coming in down low on the near side. Looking for support. And that loose puck, that'll get stopped. Played by Erica Howe. 
According to our stats, she has yet to face a shot in this third period, but her team trailing Howard, she has that goal. She's going to try to get her shot off. Ashton Bell in the way for Ottawa. On your side, Howard looking for that centering feed. Knowles will take it from the point. That's up high. Toronto maintains pressure. Now big shot by Rougeau, and that gets blocked. Creating a turnover here for Ottawa as Gilmore drives the action in front of Howe, and that just skims by. Jenner was right there from the point now. He'll try something. Boulier pulls up. That one blocked by Captain Turnbull. Ottawa Savannah Harmon will try that time. And it's a big, big opportunity for the home team. Toronto's Caitlin Willoughby in the penalty box on a tripping call. And right now her team trails 2-1. There is five on four for Ottawa here. Chance to extend their lead. As Emily Clark, she opens scoring. She's going to use the end boards, try to send it around. Grant Mentis is there. Pass back and forth, Hughes in front of the net. Now Harmon, she looks for the shot, that one. Deflects off. I think it got a piece of Hughes as well, right in front of the net. Harmon meets the puck back. Again, Ottawa on the power play. They're halfway through. Called offside. Toronto uh, penalty kill is very aggressive, and so you need quick puck movement if you're going to break that down. And that's exactly what Ottawa did to get their scoring chance. They got it up and then over really quickly. A great net front presence in front, Gabby Hughes, and it just goes off of her and then off of the post to give Ottawa a great chance. So close when you look at those angles, everything. Ottawa. There and driving the action here. They're on the power play. Final 20 seconds. We have the lead maintained since the first period. Now that pass to Scamora. And in front, I think that caught Monroe. Boyd from the line. She passes it over. It's all about trying to find the shot. They've got traffic Rougeau again. Blocks that effort. Another one off the post, Ottawa. Through the legs, though, is Caitlin Willoughby as she is clear from the penalty box and back to even strength. We go, Sarah Nurse, wanting to carry that turnover away. Natalie Spoon also looking to meet the puck, but Grant Mentis with speed. Cuts through, pass to use back to Grant Mentis. She shoots, and that's why. Emily Clark. Tries to get out of Grant Mentis. She went into the boards hard. What a beautiful passing play between the two of them. You now Spooner looks to redirect. She's got to go through the, the skates of Harmon, but instead in the Ottawa zone, Gabby Hughes looks to clear it out. In Toronto trying to be patient. Spooner shoots it into the glove of Matchmeyer. Just under six minutes left in regulation. Toronto swarming, looking for some opportunities. They've had the pressure here in the third period. Flanagan stopped there by Scamora. Turnbull, though, sends it back. It's high in the air, Flanagan. Now loose, and Ali Monroe takes it far side this time. He's just got to settle that puck. Wobble bounces back down low. And Ottawa. Trying to add another to their tally, that one. It's Gamora to Jenner. Here comes Jesse Comfer for Toronto. Not much support, Flanagan in the slot, but Toronto. you'll find Leslie now. Toronto on a line change. Yeah, Leslie Miller in front of the net. She's got bodies there. She shoots towards, and that one what a block. Once again, Haley Skimora. And well, that's a smart play. Just to know the time on the clock. You're under five minutes. Just chip that puck out and get a change. You do not want to get stuck on the ice with tired legs. And fast. She's going to use the near side. Gets past the Gia. Fast. Coming in. Looking for 
some traction there. And Ottawa slowing down that momentum. They're trying to take it back. It looked like they may have taken a penalty on Renata Fast. I think she probably thought so too. Now Rebecca Leslie, Fast. Looking for the feed up in that one. Reflected by Mashmeyer, Sarah Nurse. Sends it back to Fast in the near corner. Pressure along the boards in the final four minutes here. In regulation, Renata Fast has the puck. She shoots. Mashmeyer makes a save. It's still going, and Connors drives it in front. What a chance for Toronto, but here comes Ottawa's. Akane Shiga shoots, and that one turned away by Erica Howe. We're not a fast, having a great shift. Couple good offensive opportunities, and then she gets back to take away Shiga. Ottawa again, they'll chance at that time. At least just looking to play off the end boards, keep the pressure in the offensive zone. Skamora through traffic, and what a stop by Erica Howe. Leanne Jenner in front to really disrupt and try to get a stick on that. Toronto with a couple of really good chances. Like I said, Renata Fast with a couple of nice shots on goal. And this one, she gets her head up, takes a look, and just delays until she can find that seam. She's got traffic in front, and then chaos ensues. Now, she did that twice on that shift. Really nice heads up, delay. Make sure you find the lane. The last thing you want to do is put a puck into a blocked defender. Ottawa in the offensive zone wins that draw. Snodgrass. Looking the end boards, but Captain Turnbull for Toronto. The feed up to Howard. Howard already has a goal tonight. She'll rim it around Malte to find it. And that pass for Ottawa in their defensive zone. Not quite in control. Captain Jenner now. She tries to get her stick on it. It's up high. Monroe. Toronto teeing up another chance here as the clock begins to wind down and a big shot that one easily saved by Mash Meyer. Under two and a half to go in regulation. Toronto still looking for the equalizer where it's been since the first period. Comfer's play interrupt and that's offside. Or rather, no. Looks we're like going to have a penalty. Yeah, we're going to have a. Emily Clark is going to go to the penalty box this time, and this is really a big opportunity for Toronto. Ottawa, There's just over two minutes left in this game, and they're going to go to the power play. That's a slashing penalty, like we said. So Toronto really putting Ottawa under pressure and drawing these penalties. You can see that's that slash to the stick. So the player who opened scoring on her first PWHL goal takes a seat in the penalty box. And one thing Ottawa can feel good about is they've been good on the penalty kill. Erica Howe has been pulled from the net, so giving the added advantage to this power play here for Toronto. We got the six on four, of course, now with, with Ottawa. That gives them the chance to ice the puck on an empty net. 0 for 3 coming into this opportunity. And right in front, Natalie Spooner just tries to send it in close. Nurse will stay there, but now from the point, and it just skims by. Final two minutes in regulation here. Fast over to Connors. They look with a feed to Spooner. Circle back, that's Miller. And it gets interrupted. There is an empty net on the other side. Captain Jenner trying to drive the play that way for Ottawa. Just to add another goal to their tally, but Spooner takes it away. Do they have the room for it? Loose puck, and Jenner will bat it down. Flanagan settles it back. The home crowd reacting. Less than a minute and a half to go in regulation. It is a Toronto power play. Empty net on their side. So six on four. Action in Ottawa. Battle of Ontario driving the action is Nurse. She's got spin backwards in LaRock. Protecting the far side point. Now Flanagan near side. She moves around. She looks for that feed, and it gets blocked. 
Ashton Bell doing the work for Ottawa. As we approach the final minute of play here, Ottawa wants to win this one. It would be their first at home. They want to do it in regulation, and the clock is winding down. Ottawa with a couple good battles down low in order to keep that puck, and it goes in! Ottawa scores the empty netter! Short-handed by two players at that. And of course, that's a jailbreak, despite the fact that the net's empty, and what a bounce! Just to add the cherry on top to this game. No scoring through the second period, bringing it all the way down late into the third. 42 and a half seconds left in regulation. And then the empty netter. Well, that was quite a bounce. They got off those end boards, but really started in the corner. And they did such a good job. Ottawa getting in, battling, and winning this pack. And Toronto's really won the bulk of those battles throughout the course of this period. But Ottawa wins that one, and it just bends and curls its way down the ice and into that empty net. Of course, that's your jailbreak goal as well. Lexi Agia. What a goal to add that extra insurance here for Ottawa. The home crowd absolutely lit up here at TD Place Arena into the far corner, though Toronto still battling. They have brought so much pressure. They have outshot their opponent handedly. Right now, shots on goal 31 to 19. Now we're not a fast, trying to find a chance again. Final 10 seconds here in regulation. It's winding down. Ottawa looking near side for it and fast. She's going to carry it around, but there's the horn, and that does it. Ottawa gets their first home win in franchise history. A 3 1 victory over Toronto in a game where they were outshot and in some places outplayed, but they were able to get it by Erica Howe when it counted, and then in the empty netter just to add that little insurance. Well, Toronto really turned on the juice in the second half of the second period and continued through the third period, but they weren't able to find the back of the net. But I love the way they responded after the timeout. I love the pressure they threw Ottawa under. Ottawa had all that they could manage in that third period. But what a moment for this Ottawa team. Did you ever know 6,000 people could be this loud? It's a pretty impressive crowd.